Hey, what's poppin'? Jin Vibe here. Welcome to Franbo, you guys. This is gonna be a new series that's on my channel. Before I start, I apologize for the bedhead. I just got up. Uh, I'm a bit of a mess right now, but it's a little bit early in the morning for me. In fact, it's 1 p.m. Shut up. Anyways, um, we're gonna head into Franbo. A lot of you guys suggest for me to play this game. It's following up to the moon. You guys have not seen that series. Go ahead and check it out on my channel. Got a playlist for it. I'll put it in the link description below. And you guys recommended Frambo next. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. So I was told this game's a little bit freaky. They have a present for me. I wonder. Already I'm getting a weird vibe from this. Oh, it's a kitty! <clears throat> Dark. As the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. Oh, I look at him. He's adorable. My best friend. My only friend. We were having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. They all look like they're from like the 1950s. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. That car looks pretty 1950s as well. I'm guessing this is not set in present day. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We're having so much fun! Oh, and something's gonna go wrong. It's Monday night, I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. Yeah, your pajamas match those dr- Oh no! That's Demon Man. Strange creature outside my window. Why don't you go say hi to him? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no! It's mom! No you don't. You don't want to know what's wrong. Bright light shines from your parents' room! Oh, don't go in there. Don't go in there. Don't open the door, man. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Holy fuck, what happened here? So she ran away from home. God, that's that's a thing that'll fuck you up for life. Imagine walking into a room and seeing that. People are here. And then they take her. Friend, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. <clears throat> so you're not- you're telling me this isn't all one giant horrible nightmare? Three- oh shit. Hypnotherapy. Friend, how do you feel? Oh, just fucking great, Sigmund Freud. I'm fine, I guess. I'm just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. I want to find that killer. I'm gonna make them pay. I'll find my cat and the killer. Wait, is my cat gone? Aw, Mr. Midnight. It would be impossible to get him back. But now I have something for you. What is it? See, that's, there's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Alright, might as well. This was my mother's purse. Wow, way to bring up some depressing memories, man. There's something inside. Okay. What is this? No, 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 no. Examine. There we go. Dearest friend, here's the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remember that you like to examine and combine them with other things. Oh, so this is basically sort of like an old tutorial. 
Thank you, Aunt Grace, for teaching me how to solve this mystery and navigate this game. I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. She's worried about you. I'm worried about her, too. Stop it. You're out of control. Well, I'm, I'm not trying to be like a dick bag, but... New medicine. What medicine? All you can do is pump me full of drugs. Do it to you. It'll make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Anything new today, Dr. Dear? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh. Take your medicine. Might as well. Can I go home now? Can I leave now? I don't feel good. Oh my god. What were in those pills you gave me? Yeah, don't give me that shit again. Because that was not cool. That was kind of a uh, triptacular. Beware, friend Bo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down. Is that death? Catch you. And bring you back to insanity. Well, fuck that shit, I'm leaving. Fran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. Oh, thanks, Mr. Midnight. Aww, a cat loves me. Cats never like me in real life. They always run away from me. My sober day. So, this game is about a drugged up kid trying to escape from a mental institution, I suppose. Wake up. Fran, wake up. Fran, what the fuck up? We got things to do. Still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. God, a picture of a clown? Really? What would you think that this, of all things, is a good thing to... Grab his nose. I have a hard time laughing again. Grab the nose! Yeah. Eh, whatever. So, she's a ten-year-old girl, Fran Bo Dagenhart. Um, found near the Oswald Asylum, showing signs of psychosis. Let's try different medications, all being cancelled because of the side effects. Mm. So, uh, pumping me full of drugs doesn't work. How about you? Hey, Phil. What's up, man? Hello. You don't seem too happy. How are you, man? Everybody says that I'm sick. I'm gonna find my cat now. Bye. <laughs> hey, a little doll. I used to have a blue dress like yours. Oh, Now I only have this tacky yellow dress. Who the fuck likes yellow anyways? What a horrible color. Unless it's autumn. Is it autumn? Phil, is it autumn? Teach me about fashion. I'm only a 10-year-old girl. I don't know shit about fashion. I hope somebody loves you. Aw. A secret box! Let's take a look at it. A little box. It's open. Oh, well, let's open it then. <coughs> oh, God. That was me sneezing. Um, a key. It opens probably that door. So the thing I see that has like a key lock in it. If I sit down, I eventually get up. So what's the point? It's a bit of a fatalistic view you got there, friend. <laughs> right. The key's too tiny. Okay, so this is a key for something else then. I don't see anything that could be... Oh, wait, maybe the drawer. Can I open the drawer? Locked. Ha-ha! <laughs> and there is something inside. What's in it? Oh, hang on. Let's take a look. A photograph and a hairpin. <gasps> maybe I can lockpick. Maybe I can lockpick the door. I can be all like... I can be all like, I roll my lockpicking skills and... Uh, I'm being a D&D &D nerd again. Uh, let's go ahead and grab these. Let's take a look at this. What is this? Oh, so that's Aunt Grace, my mom, and my dad. 
These two were murdered. At least Aunt Gracie is still alive. Aunt Gracie, you're a bro, man. My hair clip. I should give it a good use. Alright, let's use it. My hair. I can't use it on myself. Alright, never mind. Something fell. I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside. She's so happy about it. Wow. This asylum is, um... Not a very inviting place. Tower defense. We have for you a crazy person called Fran. Or is it defense tower? Uh, so I need to get up that tower. <laughs> okay, anyways. Let's go back. This might be useful. A handy hook. Save it to play pirate later. Hmm. Or I can use it to stab someone. I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Nurse Person. Can I get... My legs are just fine. Yeah, but I'm lazy. Well, friend, you're awake. Good. How, how long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Holy shit! Actually, that sounds like me. <laughs> was it the medicine? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it anymore. Lady Nurse, I did something. See? You're nothing but trouble. What is it? I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me! <laughs> Gotta take a look. Better go and talk to her. Curious, yes, but the nurse is still inside this room. Alright, fine. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? Um, uh, what's a hook? <laughs> I'm only 10, man! Well, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little girl. <laughs> you gotta read your book! Hey, bandages! That's useful. Gladys Hermche, Fran Bodagenhart. The patient has lower... has something sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. Some kids have come around and something- God, fucking all doctors and nurses have fucking chicken scratch ass handwriting that you can never read. I was about her and when she would come out and play. Um... So, duotized 8H. I don't know what 8H means. Violent trauma can have great impact on children. Violent trauma on their own lives. So, this whole thing is probably about, like, PTSD or some shit, right? Children damaged by trauma can have months of severe deficits in some abilities. Just trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to severe symptoms. Blah, blah, blah. So, paranoia. Paranoia, basically. Yeah, coffee. What's in here? Where the medicine is, but it's locked. It's a gun! Alright, I'm gonna just wrap it up. I'm gonna wrap it up and I'm just gonna leave it there. I don't, uh... I don't trust her. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels! I don't think I need any of this. Alright, fine. Let's look through this window. Hey, a playground! This place ain't too bad after all. Might as well hang around and get a little, like, playtime in. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess. Eh, yeah, that's cute. Alright. Um, is there anything of any use? Red and Tiny, you are hiding from me. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he's afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Hate the monster. Okay. Alright. Well, that being the case, let's try and get out of here. Eh. It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Fuck! The hook! The shape isn't right. Um... Let's learn more about our friend Phil here. 
With his mother, Rachel Bronstone, boys develop paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. He refuses to be questioned. Hey, Phil! No any way out? There are many ways out. But everything's locked. But the office is the key. Wait, what do you mean by that? The office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. He doesn't want that? Well, then I don't see any of I got your back, bro. I ain't gonna rat you out. Alright, so I'm willing to bet... My pills are inside. I know I have to crack the code. Hmm. H. So the first one is an 8. First one's an 8. Hang on. I think I know where to find it. Oh, no, not here. H8945. So 8945. Let's try that. So this one goes to 8. This one goes to 945. There we go. Oh, boy. I have... Pills. I'm starting to wonder if Fran isn't just a drug addict or something, because this is sort of suspect. So I gotta find something else to put in the keyhole so I can lockpick it. What? This is trippy. Did it. Well. Oh, shit. Hello, Miss Nurse. Uh, she's kind of dead. Hey there, buddy. Get out, creepy creature. You got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? That generally means they're dead. Alright, let's look through the window. Hmm. Same view as always. God, are these pills supposed to be useful, son? Oh, He really doesn't look happy. Why are you like that? You terrify me. So, now I'm just tripped up on drugs. Oh, God! Oh, Mr. Deer! Oops. Look, I tried, man. I tried. Oh! Wooden horse is doing fine. Of course, it's locked. Fuck, I still don't know where to go. You... You can see. To happiness. It's the door. But I don't know how to get through the door. I figure these... Well, let's, let's try going down these stairs. Absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know you can't keep... Hey, Aunt Gracie! More than clear, Grace. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate. Yeah, dude, I'm hopped up on fucking psychedelics. Is that dead fox? Aw. The doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Foxy fox, don't cry. I'll use my hands as a tissue. Would you like a hug? Why are you so sad? Because he's dead? I'd be pretty sad if I was dead as well. Oh, even the bunny's dead. Yeah, sure, they're sleeping. Let's let's just... Uh... I think what makes it really tragic is that it's all from the perspective of a 10-year-old girl, and she doesn't really seem to understand death. Alright, well, I don't really think anything's changed. Yeah, nothing really looks different. What if I... Ooh! All right. Well, has anything changed? I really don't feel like anything has changed. Hmm. Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Oh, the crucifix? Ah, uh, that's funny. Hmm. Let's pop some more pills. I'm confused. Wait, what is this? 
Oh, hey, that might be pretty useful. All right, I'm good. Let's go ahead and use this on the lock as well. Almost, but there's another hole. Seriously? Oh, no, wait, I have it right here. Oh, I gotta combine these. There we go. Now we got a lock pick. Aha! Fran, wait! Are you leaving tonight? Fuck yeah. Getting the fuck out of here. I will, if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. There's a key inside? Or the office is... Wait, you already know this. I'll see if I can find it. Dude, you already fucking told me this shit. Alright, so I gotta go to the office. Wait, where's this one go? I don't mean to disturb. I'm coming through. I'm just passing through. Just looking around. Bed is very pink. One of those mute clowns. Real flowers. They smell so sweet. What are you drawing? A red puppet and a serpent. So, what you doing, friend? Hello. You see them. You do, right? See what? The creatures that follow everyone. I mean shadows? <laughs> everyone has one. I can't see them, but I know they're there. I wish I didn't see them. You like to draw? I love to draw. I mean, I got a couple drawings up on my room, too. I drew one of my my uh, cat. I want to find my cat. I miss my cat. Draw a cat if you don't have one. I better keep looking for my cat, then. <laughs> Your cat's in danger. The dangers took him. I know. Wait, who told you that? How'd you know this? What the fuck? The one that follows me. All right, let's take a look at who's following you. Oh, this one? Hey, bro. What's up? Hey, this chair is rocking now. What's in here? A dead clown? Oh, that's grody. Even the peers of things die in this place. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I can't... I can't read it without that. A victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person which almost killed her. Auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Making progress. She's fucking seven. That's sick. Alright. Well. <clears throat> so I think I gotta get in here, right? This is the bathroom. Never mind. WC. What, what does WC mean? Because I've seen that on bathrooms before, but I never really found out what WC is supposed to mean. Oh, hi! You should be in your room. The door was closed. But you left it open. Maybe she's old and delirious. Are you sure? You told me to go and eat. Did I? Hmm. Alright then, carry on. She is a very fucking easy to deceive nurse. Alright, well if it's time to eat, let's go and get some food. Hi there, Mr. Man. Who are, who are you? Sir, the king hanging up there. Can I have it? Sure, I can give you the key if you give me a kiss. Dude, I'm ten. Then you'll give me the keys? Sit on my knee. I'll kill you. I'll kill you! Mm. Hang on. This will help. Oh, but now the keys are gone. Mr. Pig is naked. Yeah, he's missing all his skin. Crunchy Pig's head is ready to be served. What no part of the body that is. It looks like the intestines. I don't know why they're still moving. Alright. Well, pills didn't help. So. Hey, get your hands off the office door. Okay, so I gotta get him distracted with something. That phone looks like it might be convenient. I think they would help me. So let's let's place a call for... Oh. Hi there. Hello, are you alright? What is that supposed to mean? I don't know, I'm just checking up on how you're doing. 
I don't want to tell. The doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. That's a little... Um, he likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all of my thoughts. She, she had a lobotomy. That's what it was. This, this girl had a lobotomy. They took out a section of her brain. God, I remember they used to do that in the 50s or something, right? Okay, I'm going to leave then. That's... Jesus Christ. All right. Let's just look through the room. Hey, TV! What you watching, dude? I like this! All right, anyways. You and my testing are proof. We're fucking test subjects! We're guinea pigs in here! Oh, a nature channel. Static. I'm just gonna leave it on here. I'm gonna watch this. I like this show. Hello, what are you doing? It doesn't work. The paper's not working. Wait, wait what do you mean? What, what are you trying to do with the paper? It should be working like they told me. Well, what does the paper do? They show me what's on the television. Okay, I'm gonna go. I don't know how to react. Hey, let's pop a pill. That dude's head just popped. All right, anyways. Good night, shiny toys. Oh, I like how the toys are completely unmarred. Can I watch the TV? Evil TV? Aw, oh, lame! Devil World has such bad reception. All right, whatever. Excuse me. Wait! That's trippy. What happened to this poor teddy bear? You okay, buddy? He does not look okay. Well, best of luck to you. Oh, man. This place looks... Hello, are you new here? I haven't seen you before. No. Are you from downstairs? Uh-huh. They think I'm better now. Well, what's your name? Could you please kill me? Okay. Uh, sure, bang! You're dead. <laughs> I can't talk now. I'm dead. Let's see what you look like. Whoa, is that demon humping that kid? Yeah, well, whatever. What have we here? Chocolate. Hmm, I like how even in the devil world, chocolate works out fine. The lady nurse died. Oh, nope, she's fine. Hello. Oh, hello, Fran. How are you today? Trippin' balls, dude. I see dead animals, miss. You mean in the television? Yeah, the television. Go play with your friends now. Can I get food? I want food. Pasta wasn't fresh. Cinnamon bun! Yay! I like cinnamon buns. Oh, what about this? A little lemonade. Milky milk. This carton is all sour, like always. Did I just take milk? No, I didn't. Mr. Midnight, you here? Hi there. Uh, hey, you want to talk? Um, oh, okay. Okay. Wait, what does she eat? What is this? I didn't love to drink the milk like a kitten. That stuff's sour. Don't disturb me. Go away. I'm eating. Ah, eh, fair enough. I don't like people when bother me eating. I don't want this. I'm not hungry. I gotta get out. I gotta get out. It's always locked at night. Can't go out and play. Don't touch my sword. Oh, I didn't know it was yours. My bad. King? Alright, sure. Whatever. Oh, a cute little curtsy there, Fran. What walking king? Do you mean my sword? Yes, your highness. Your sword. Man, Fran. You've learned to become quite manipulative, quite quite. Oh, then again, I'm controlling all her actions. Man, I'm a manipulative little fuck. What would you give me in exchange? All right, what do you want in exchange, your highness? 
Bring me a castle and a horse. Only then will I grant you my sword. A castle and a horse. Alright, well, I can probably get a rocking horse or something. You feeling okay? Aren't you afraid of me? No. You're small and you're harmless. Because I can do magical tricks and make you sleepy. Oh, show me some! Show me some! I like magic. But I'm not- I can't do the magic. I can give you the magical stuff. Oh! Give it to me! Give it to me! Give it to me! Give it to me! More drugs! Make anyone fall asleep. That's amazing! Powerful and grand! Take it, slowly. Oh! 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 I know what to do with this! How's it work? I have no idea! <laughs> but I know what to do. I know what I must do now. Where are you going? What? Where are you going? Hang on, Annie, where are you going? I'm gonna follow her. I'm curious now. My curiosity has been piqued. Are you going back to your room? Looks like you're going back to your room. Annie, where are you going? Annie? I'm, I'm getting to the bottom of this. Is she just, wait, is she just pacing back and forth? Because if she is, I just wasted a monumental amount of time. I just wasted a monumental amount of time. Cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and use this on this guy. Oh! Shouldn't show them then, huh? What if I mix it? Oh! Oh, wait a minute! Ha ha! Ha 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 I just realized I... Oh shit, the game just crashed. Fuck! Oh man, I hope it's saved. I'm staring at a big notice here that says it stopped working. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I made a magical cinnamon puff and we'll pick up right uh, uh we'll pick up right where we left off in the next episode, which is going to be next Friday, 6 p.m. PST, same as always. Um, you guys like this video, like this commentary, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. It means a lot to me, and I'd love to see you guys again in the future videos. Got some more gaming stuff coming up on the way, along with another episode of Franbo next week. So I hope to see you guys then. This is fucked up, but I'm making progress. So uh, we'll see what happens then. But until then, you guys, thanks again so much for watching. Goodbye.